James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today with a little walkthrough of how to set up a macros of using like binding keys one through five with the timer. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that for the Red Dragon Impact software. This is for the M686. This is their Vampire Elite uh, mouse or gaming mouse. So you pull up the software like you just saw me do. Saw me do. You click over to macros. We're going to write new macros. Key one, keys one through five. We're just going to name it that. Type it in a little name. Click OK. Now you can either automatically record time delay, which is what I'm going to show you guys. We're going to press the start record. Press one, two, three, four, and five. And press stop. As you guys can see here, it has a time delay of 180 milliseconds per turn uh, between key one, key two. You guys can see those, one, uh, 141 milliseconds. But we can get rid of this. We can actually modify this if we really want. You know, let's, um, it doesn't, it's not really letting me save. Let's save that. Let's modify if we can. Nope. It's not going to let me modify. So, what we can do is just start a new one. Key five through one. We're just going to write a new one. We're going to go over and it says cycle until key is released. Cycle until key is pressed or cycle times. So we're going to click cycle times. We're going to press 10. 10 cycle times. Start record. One, two, three, four, and five. Stop record. Cycle times. 10. Insert event. If we really want key up, key down, you can add those if you really, really want. And click save. Now you have two different ones. This has got one cycle time. This has got 10 cycle times. You can go up here and press this to um, cycle until the key is released. Cycle until any other key is pressed. Click save. Now that one is modified and saved that way. We can also come down here to cycle times and let's say, let's do 100 cycles. Press save. Now, now that we have this saved, you have to go back to or back to main. Click the button you want to set it to. I'd say let's do five, button five. Five is control right now. We're going to actually go over here, click macro. We're going to click key one through five. And that is how you set a macro with the key cycles of keys one through five. You know, we can go back through here into macro, click the five through one, which is the 10 cycle. And then you click apply. Once you applied, you're set, you're, you're done. That's it. It's all you got to do. Now, if you want to restore this, which is uh, you know, not really going to have to, we'll just go back in and find, um, you know, it doesn't show the key I want it to be. So we'll click restore. Click that. Click that. There you go. We got control now. So that is all. You, really all you got to do. I mean, nothing big, nothing fancy. The macros are here. You can name them whatever you want. As you can say that when you press the key, it says, you know, it's like five seconds in between, four second, you know, or four milliseconds, I apologize. But that's pretty much just it. That's all you got to do to set those up. You can even change that into like if you want, um, if you need to dodge left while, you know, parrying, you could do like, uh, let's say, new macro, left. Sword swing dodge. And we'll let us give us dodge. So we'll do that. We'll click start and we'll click left one. It did it twice. Left two did it twice. And now we can add a cycle time. We'll stop macros. We'll add a cycle time of let's say a hundred. It'll do it a hundred times. That is saved. So you just do that. Those are how you do it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, thank you for checking out this little walkthrough video of how to do this. And keep your eyes out for more on dragonblogger.com to come.